To open files on Scriptation for Mac, you can either drag and drop your PDF into the dotted box, or click Select File to open Mac's File Finder window. For cloud users, after installing third-party apps such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, those cloud folders can be favorited to appear on the left. iCloud users will automatically have a dedicated subfolder created for scriptation files. On iCloud, it's only this subfolder that syncs to other devices. By selecting a document and clicking Open, your file will open in scriptation. And as you make annotations and save your file with File Save, your file will be updated to wherever it's already stored. For example, if the file was opened from Downloads or Dropbox, when you save, the file stays in that location. From within a document, you can tap the File Browser for continued access to your files and folders. For Scriptation iPad users, you'll notice the cloud folders are not there on the left, but are accessed through clicking Select File. You can also create PIN folders with your cloud accounts to replicate the iPad interface. By clicking PIN Folder and selecting Dropbox and clicking Open, you can create a shortcut to return to that folder again and again. Once a file has been opened, it will now appear in the Recent Files list as a shortcut to access that file. When you click the three dots, you can click Remove to remove the shortcut to that file. To actually delete a file, or to copy and move to other folders, all of that is performed within the File Finder. The key to understanding Mac storage is remembering that your files and folders are not stored within the app itself, but either on the hard drive or in a cloud service that the files are being accessed from. For more step-by-step -step guides, head over to support.scriptation.com.